Okay, you guys, we finally made it to our last recipe. So our last one is called Spider Oreo Pops. Ooh. So let's start just like we always start with our directions, our ingredients. <laughs> Okay, guys, so to start, we need one package of Halloween Oreos. Or really any Oreos will work, but I like Halloween Oreos more. I think they're yummier. Okay. Then we need one package of, what do you guys think it's going to be? Brown melting chips, like brown melting chocolate right melting chocolate we need melting chocolate in like every single recipe huh guys so it helps us decorate okay next is we need one package of lollipop sticks and these aren't hard to find just if you go to Walmart and you go in the baking area um, kind of buy like cards and birthday presents or like birthday set up area, stuff like that, you can find lollipop sticks, okay? Then we need one package of candy eyes. And lastly, we need pretzel sticks. We're gonna be mixing sweet and salty. Okay, pause the video if you need to. Okay, guys. So, for our directions, we need to pull the Oreos Part. So, you know how an Oreo is like cookie, then cream, and then cookie? Yeah? So, all we're doing in this step is we're going to pull off this cookie and have it right here. Okay? So, they're going to be separate. So, we're going to have one cookie that still has the cream on it and then one cookie that's just by itself. That's all you gotta do for the first step. Okay, then place one cup of candy melts in a pot or microwave and stir until melted. You guys know the drill. Okay. So dip the top of the lollipop stick into the melted chocolate. and stick it into the cream part of the Oreo. Okay, so if we remember our Oreo, we're drawing it from the side, right? So here's the cookie part and here's the cream. So then we're going to have our lollipop stick. We're gonna have that be the little bit of melting chocolate. And then our stick comes down. So this, it's important to have the melting chocolate because it helps it stick to the cream. And the cream is also stickier. So that's how we need to put it in, okay? It's pretty simple. Um, okay. Get eight small pieces of pretzel. So this is like we're making the spider legs, okay? So get eight small pieces of pretzel and stick them into the cream part 
and the cream part again of the Oreo as legs. So if this is our cookie back here and this is our cream part and now we're looking right at the Oreo, okay? We're looking straight at it. Then we can take, and we have our lollipop. We have our lollipop sticking there already. So then we wanna make sure we're touching the cream part and we get four pretzels sticking out on this side and four sticking out on this side, okay? So it's not too hard. You guys can totally do it. And if it won't stick, use more of that melting chocolate, okay? Now we're gonna put the top of the Oreo back on. So we're gonna smush them back together. Then we're going to cover our Oreo in the melting chocolate. So do you remember our brown melting chocolate? We're gonna hold on to our lollipop stick and we're gonna dip the whole Oreo in, okay? And then we will set it on parchment paper. Miss Jaden just forgot to write that. Okay, and that'll help it look a little bit more like a spider. And then our last step is to stick on the candy eyes. And <coughs> in this picture, this spider only has two eyes, but in real life, <coughs> whoa, spiders have eight eyes, I think. Or maybe I just made that up. <laughs> I don't know, but I think spiders have more than two eyes. So it's up to you how many eyes go on there. But these are our directions. And pause the video if you need more time, okay? But this was our very last recipe. Thank you for learning some fun Halloween recipes with me. I really love doing this. I think it's a really fun activity. Um, make sure I'm gonna send something out to your parents, but make sure you talk to them and that you guys put in a vote of your two favorite recipes that we talked about. So that way I can make sure I have some fun treats for us when we have our Halloween party. And like I said, I can't make everything. And just because you send in two treats doesn't mean that I'll get to do both of those treats. And I might not even be able to do one of them. But I'll try really hard to make sure I can, okay? It's just, I can't make all of the treats by myself really quick because I've got other stuff to do and we can't make them every day here together in class, which I know really stinks. But I'm gonna try my best to make your treats. So send in your favorites to me and yeah, I think that's everything. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.